This video is sponsored by Moomoo. Definitely check out the link in the description below. Click on it, make a brokerage account with Moomoo, deposit some money, and give to some free stocks. Why not check it out? It's literally free money. I got like two Wells Fargo stock. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's just get back to AMC. You guys came for this, and I'm going to deliver you guys some pretty good news, especially after so many days of bad news. And AMC, like I said in the previous video, it actually consolidated really well. It consolidated at $34. In fact, it went down to $34 four times in a row in the past three days of trading. And what I'm saying here is you do see this massive volume in the morning of the 15th of July. Usually with very high volume and a ton of dark pool activity and a lot of naked shorting, short selling, synthetic short positions being opened up, you would expect AMC to drop like rock all the way down to maybe 30, even $28 but it didn't happen. With volume being enormously high, twice as high as before in the morning, and essentially three times as high as in the morning of July 13th, AMC didn't go down any further. It actually consolidated really well. And now the price is at roughly $34. But if you head over to the German markets, AMC is up roughly 8%. Now, in Germany, it's a little bit different than here because what's popping over there is very different. They actually opened their markets for a few hours on the weekends, unlike here in the US where we completely close them on the weekends. So it's actually pretty nice. And usually when the German markets are like, for example, plus 5%, the next day for the American markets, AMC will be plus 5% as well. Right now, AMC on the weekends from the German markets is plus 8%. That's really, really nice. 8% is a phenomenal number. Now, if you change this price to USD, AMC is at roughly $36.35 or maybe 40 cents. So it's roughly the mid 36s. And AMC, when the markets closed on Friday, was 34. So we are getting roughly a $2.35 or $2.40 upgrade. And I gotta admit, that's actually pretty sweet. An 8% increase over the weekend, that is pretty nice in my opinion. That's better than nothing. Now we got a few big catalysts coming up for next week, or I guess this week for the trading. And one of them is the options chain. Now if you check out some of the options, I think it's by far the best catalyst to see what's going on. Because last week, what's really interesting was we got a ton of synthetic short positions being opened up. And I do have some proof. For example, the put open interest was extremely high at over half a million. And that number was growing really, really fast, like two weeks before the expiration of these put options. Now, if you sell a call, which you can't actually see how many calls are being sold, and if you buy a put, which you can actually see of the open interest, that creates a synthetic short position. Now, if you check out this week's options, we essentially got the calls almost outnumbering the puts by two to one. That's pretty amazing. And if you also head over to Fidelity, you do see the buy orders versus sell orders, even when the market is going down, AMC almost always outnumbers the sell orders. Like usually two to one, sometimes maybe 1 1.7 out of one. AMC is a very, very popular stock. But if you check out the options chain, with so many call options being open, what I'm saying here is we could be seeing a massive rocket of AMC all the way up to the moon. Because in the previous weeks when we saw the call options outnumber the put options, we saw a pretty massive rise in the price. Partly because we will be seeing a lot of these market makers having to buy 100 shares for each option open, especially calls, just to hedge themselves. If you want a gamma squeeze, you could simply buy an option, preferably a little bit closer to the share price. That way market makers have to buy 100 shares to hedge themselves. Because if your call option is the money, they will exercise it and they'll give you on the 100 shares. So what's happening with AMC is very, very unique. Now, what I'm saying here of AMC is we also have been getting some pretty good news, especially with some of the FTD data. Now, FTD were failed to deliver are essentially market makers failing to deliver 100 shares to you on expiration when your option is in the money. And guess what happens when these market makers do that? It becomes FTDs, failure to deliver, shares that are not delivered, and you still get shares, but they're phantom shares, but within 35 days, which market makers usually wait until the 34th day, last second, they will have to buy, for example, 100 shares and swap them out with the phantom shares and things go back to equilibrium. If they don't, essentially, 
here it is, you got the FTD numbers. Now, usually when you have a very high FTD number, you got a massive decrease in stock. I know some of you guys don't know about that, but that's actually a fact. There's several scientific articles. Yes, that's actually a thing. There's scientific articles for business, especially in options with all those derivatives and stuff like that. We saw a massive decrease in price. That's pretty normal with very, very high FTD numbers. It's what people call to suppress the price of a stock. And that's what's happening with AMC. AMC has a massive crash and I feel like because of these FTD numbers, eventually market makers have to buy back a ton of these shares. Thus, you do have a massive increase in price. Check out some of the FTD numbers. It's actually increasing slowly once again, which is a little bit disturbing in my opinion. Now, nevertheless, though, we have been seeing some pretty good news for you know, AMC, especially how Adam Aaron actually posted saying, hey, doing pretty good. AMC is actually going to sports. They have UFC, you know, post reopening attendance record for the last couple weeks it was pretty amazing okay the weekend was like 2.5 million us gas and 3.2 million gas globally it's pretty nice who knows amc might even do esports they might even do tv shows and i really do think they should continue with sports i feel like amc instead of trying to brand themselves as a movie theater maybe brand themselves as an entertainment center a place to socialize watch your favorite shows not necessarily just movies and by the way this summer, a lot of really amazing hit movies. Movies are packed right now. And Adam Aaron's even giving out free popcorn, some free snacks, some free drinks if you're an AMC shareholder. And that makes AMC, honestly, the people stock. Because what makes AMC so intriguing for a lot of people to play and why people keep playing it is 80 and possibly 90% of all AMC shares are probably owned by the AMC retail traders. This is literally the people's stock. This is a stock that's controlled by retail traders. The retail influence for AMC is so big to the point that Adam Aaron straight up said, okay, after looking through a lot of data, social media and stuff like that, a lot of you guys do not want to vote on the 25 million share dilution. He straight up canceled it. That is huge, okay? The CEO likes the retail traders, the retail traders love the stock, and everything is coming to a circle. It's great. Let's get back to this. German market's up 8%. Seriously, AMC prices are rocketing up, and I can't wait to see what the prices are for next week. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to get your two free stocks by creating an account below. It's in the link. Deposit some money, $100 preferably, and get two free stocks. And definitely check out the private Discord server, guys. Link in the description below. A lot of really amazing trades like Disney call making 110%, Boeing call making 20%. If you guys are interested, definitely check these out, and it's free until August 1st. So why not do that? Link in the description below. It's a private Discord server. And also check out BlockFi in the description below as well. A lot of crazy stuff is happening here. You do have Bitcoin, Ethereum, other cryptos, earn interest on them, deposit some money, and get up to $250 with a Bitcoin. It's pretty sweet. See you guys later. Let's see what AMC is headed to. I think it's a pretty amazing stock. It's headed to some pretty nice places. And see you guys later.